Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, listen, yesterday I was sharing something with you. I said, God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let him have dominion over. He said that in Genesis chapter 1. Now, in Genesis chapter 1, God was doing the real creation. See, he was speaking. That's why he started by saying, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning. So he takes us back to the beginning and he's telling us how God created the heavens and the earth. Now, how did God create the heavens and the earth? He was just speaking. See, all, all he was doing in Genesis chapter 1 was speaking. And let me tell you this truth. Nothing moved. Nothing changed in Genesis chapter 1. Nothing. So don't imagine God saying, let there be light. And there was light. And then he said, let God now say, let there be a famine. And then there was a separation. And then the firmament is now there. No. All God was doing in Genesis chapter 1 was to speak. And God will spend the whole day speaking. Of course, the Bible couldn't have given us the detail of everything that God said. John said, if everything that Jesus did and taught are to be written, the whole world cannot contain. Meaning, you know, I just, I just, I just imagine sometimes how, how they, they, they lived with Jesus. You see, every time that man spoke, wisdom came out of his mouth. So imagine if they were following him with a recorder so that they can transcribe everything he said. Think about it. But they could only give up, just like John said, but these are written that you will believe that Jesus came from God truly and he is Lord. See? So this is a summary. So Genesis chapter 1 is a summary of what God created. It's not in details. I, I you know the Lord spoke to me one time. I said, do you know that the things God created in Genesis chapter 1, some of it have not manifested till this day. I said, oh, how? Oh, yes. Everything in this world is following the pattern of which God created it. That's the truth. Let me show you something. Now, I want you to see something in Genesis chapter 1. Verse 31. Watch this. It says, And God saw everything that he has made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Praise God. He says, God saw everything he has made. Question then is, what did God see? Was it the physical things? No, it wasn't the physical things. Now, he just told you here that that was the sixth day. See, now, look at chapter 2, verse 1. He, he, he says, thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Now, first of all, realize this, that the Bible wasn't written in chapters and verses. These were done by the translators, you know, to cross, to put a break for reference purpose. So, it means it's just a continuation. Now, when you see that word, thus, the heavens and the earth were finished. What's it saying? It said, this is how the heavens and the earth were finished. How were they finished? By God speaking. See, that's all God was doing, speaking. Then look at what, what it says from, from here. Verse 2. It says, and, the, and, the, and on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in, that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Now, he just told us that God rested from all his work. Now, look at verse 4. Follow this carefully. He now goes in verse 1 and says, These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Did you get that? He said, <laughs> he just told us in verse 1, chapter 2, this is how the heavens and earth they were created. When? This is, this, thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And then he says, he did that when? In six days. In verse 4, he now comes to say, these are the generations. Listen, life as we know it now 
actually started in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 4. Did you get what I'm saying? Meaning, because he said here, he says, and from verse 5, he says, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field. Now, let me tell you this. It took six days for God to create everything. And then when he was done, he rested. But listen, it took generations for the things God created to physically come into being. And some of it, like I told you earlier, is still coming into being. So what are you talking about? Yes, that's the truth. See, God finished his work. And when he rested, what did he actually do? He handed over to someone else to do the work. And who was that? The Holy Spirit. So when you see in scriptures, verse 4, that was the first time the, word, the two words were mentioned. Lord God. That's the first time you're seeing that. Now, that's the administrator of all things. See? So, he began to take whatever God said and began to make it real, make it physical. See, and that didn't just, he didn't just do like this. See, for example, something I always say when I talk about this. The book of life was written on the sixth day when God made man. That was the day God dedicated to man. Everything that has to do with man. So that was the day he wrote the book of life. See, now it means that's the day he wrote your name, if your name is in the book of life. He wrote your name on that sixth day. But did you come to the earth that day? No. See, see how long it took you before you were born. And you came into this earth. Now, what am I telling you? I'm saying Jesus was created on the sixth day. See? Jesus, it was on the sixth day God spoke about Jesus coming into this world. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Praise God. I'm going to continue from here tomorrow. Now, this is getting interesting. And I love it. Because... You, you know how it is. The Spirit of God deals you on, deals on you on an issue. And they're like, what? And then by the time he's done explaining everything to you, you're like, whoa, praise God. And, and, and you take the same thing and you, you give it out to me. Say, this is it. Like, what are you talking about? Now, some people are not even patient to hear the whole story. Ah, what are you? I don't agree. I don't agree. And they go off. Relax. And we're going to continue tomorrow. Praise God. Bye-bye.